Uh, we're going to do a reaction to Marvel's Cloak and Dagger that's going to be on Freeform. Um, I heard their uh, pilot was made and it was in talks to become a show and I guess this is official now. Um, I don't even know what any of this is about. So I mean, we talked about this briefly, didn't we? Yeah, I mean... Isn't this like supposed want... to be a comedy? No, not at all. I thought there was a comedy Marvel show coming out. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be uh, Warriors, the new Warriors. Oh, okay, so I'm, maybe I'm getting confused then. Um, so let's just watch it and then we'll, I'll explain any questions you have afterwards. All right, cool. I don't even know what the fuck Freeform is. All right, we're going to watch this now. ABC Family. It's like you're afraid if I don't do everything perfectly, you're gonna lose me. Oh, baby, I'm afraid even if you do everything perfectly, I'm gonna lose you. What's your name? The, mo the mom's from Mr. Robot, right? She's a psychologist. Yeah, his name was. <laughs> I had yeah, to tell her again. Okay. Wait, are you that kid? So I'm assuming he's cloaked because he's black and you can't see him at night? Um, <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I, at first, the trailer was kind of like... I fucking love this trailer. It's way better than the fucking Star Wars trailer. Uh, <laughs> no, I would watch this show because it definitely felt like... No, all the, I, thought the I thought the trailer started a little slow, but towards the end it started picking up and I started getting into it. So I, I, I like this trailer. Um... It felt like an ABC Family show, yeah, but in a good way. Like, but it felt like, yeah, it's definitely geared towards teenagers, which I think is great because that's what the CW is doing with the DC shows. Yep, and that's what that I feel like that's what the comic industry needs, or the movie industry needs, or the t media industry needs for in terms of comic book, because that's going to promote younger audiences to want to do more of that story right. shit. You know what I mean? Like. If you don't have it on TV, you don't have kids growing up to it. If you don't have kids growing up to it, then they don't aspire to do those things. Right. That's my thinking. I, I hope, I hope people are start exploring the source material more. Because this sure. this looked like a, just a standard ABC Family high school Friday night Friday night light show until like, until like there's some weird fucking angel shit like the, she touches him and she glows white or whatever the right. fuck like. I don't know anything about the source material, so it's intriguing enough to want to watch it. It's like Chronicle. It's like Power Rangers. I haven't seen the new Power Rangers, but it has that same spin of like they're normal kids, and then all of a sudden they get this shit. Right. Chronicle was like that. I love so, Chronicle. So I'm like, uh, what I'm interested in is um, like how they're gonna explain their powers because. Well, what's his power? Well, somewhere. So he's cloak, obviously because he has that large cloak. But um, he can take you into another dimension, like a dark dimension that has no light. Why is it gotta be dark? <laughs> That's racist. Oh, uh, but he transports. Like he can transport people through, through teleportation. Places. Yeah, he can teleport. But he has, he can go to a special. He has to be naked, obviously, apparently, because <laughs> he looked naked in the cloak. Uh, no, uh, it's it's it, they're so the original of the story is they're runaways. And they're like boyfriend and girlfriend runaways. I I'm I don't know the backstory exactly. Well, it looks like there was a shot of a flashback of them on a beach together. Right. So they so might they, be they, connected somehow. They're changing the the. the their first this isn't connected to any of the Marvel other Marvel universes. No, I mean it? neither is Agents of Shield. Other than is this Agent Coulson. is this a Marvel show, or is this a 
Marvel, well, it's, Fox, Sony show. You know what I'm saying? It's on an ABC channel. Oh, I didn't know. Free, um, I didn't know Free. Yeah, Freeform used to be ABC Family. So it's so it's a MCU. It may not be connected to the universe, but it's a Disney Marvel movie. This is like this is a confusing property, right? Because they're a first. It, I, they're like I feel like they're going to be the same area that um, that Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch are in. Mostly Quicksilver, where they're both properties can can use them. But they have to be just used differently or something. Yeah, I don't, I really don't even know what the deal is with that. Um, but uh, so they didn't used to be mutants, and then a few years ago, they made a mutants. They don't even look mutants, to be honest with you. Because right. I mean, it, it looked like that white shit came out of nowhere. That's a power. She can make crystals or well, daggers. Dagger, yeah, that's a crystal dagger. I mean, I'm I'm not even gonna bullshit you. Like I've this is these they really haven't had their own title. Like they didn't have a, an ongoing title for a long time. They came out like in the late seventies, early eighties. So I'm not like really big into them. They're like they're bit characters. So when I found out they were gonna make a show, them were I, they always black and white? Yeah, I I found it really interesting when they decided there. But he has like no color in his eyes in the comics. Like it's just like oh. white eyes. I'm just no. I mean, I think it's cool. But at the same time, it's like I almost feel like the reason why they're Runaways is because in the comic is because they had like a biracial relationship, and that was because Marvel was always. Well, that's what I was going to say. I really like attack social like. Issues. I was going to ask, do you think they're going to tart like because race is so relevant? It's more relevant than any time before, I think, especially with Trump. Do you think they're going to just start like they're going to cram that kind of message story down people's throats, where it's like um, be accepting? Or do you think it's I'm not, not going to so be a sure, thing at all? I feel like we're in a place right now where biracial relationships are accepted more. Like it's not. But it's high school. It looks like it's high school. I mean, even more in high school, if anything. I don't know. Like, is it, that? Do you think that's true? In high school? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't know. High school now, way more than before, for for sure, absolutely. I think it's. Uh, but where the story place takes place, it looks like it's taking place in like somewhere like in the Midwest. To, they look like they go in different high schools too. Oh, I guess that's true. And it, I'm just saying, like, like it looks like, like they didn't look like they knew each other from. The, it looks like a Bible Belt, right? And so maybe not in those types of places, you know, in a racial. I think it has to be in the Bible Belt because, like, <laughs> no high schools on the coast are like that anymore. No, not at all. <laughs> They're not full of fucking fenced off. They're gated. Like they look like prisons. Well, your athletes all, also aren't the most popular people at school anymore. Like, true. I mean, I, no, that's not true. I guess. Football players are well. At least when my high school football players were always popular. Uh, I don't know. They were always popular. I feel like it has to do with uh, like sports were always popular. Kids were always. I feel popular. like it has to do with the population of the school. Like my my high school had five thousand kids. So there we was had like four thousand. Our graduating class was a thousand. And the jock was so popular. Mm-hmm. Where's the jock now? I don't know. I'm just saying, like in terms of popularity, in terms of like what they were doing well, that's with what the I'm school saying. and like things like that, like the jock. The definitely because they were more outgoing. Our biggest jock in my graduating class was not the most popular kid on campus. I don't know, man. I grew. I uh, graduated with two porn stars. So, <laughs> I mean, that's not related to sports, but I'm just saying, like, San in P- terms of like San Pedro High is fucked up. Yeah, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I, I I'll definitely watch this. It was definitely a nice little teaser. Yeah. I'm curious to see if. Uh, like how they're how they're gonna present. It them. needs to be fun. That's the main thing. It needs to be fun. It needs to be fun. Like the Flash is fun. Like I, I still haven't seen the Flash. Regardless. Regardless. The CW. Yeah, regardless. The CW shows are fun. Like they're they're they're. Do you think this will be more? Do you think this will be a? Do you think this will be a CW esque show? Well, uh, if they're trying to market it towards the teenagers, I I I think so. Who do you think they're gonna do it better? ABC or? Uh, probably ABC, right? Because like even the CG, there's a CGI of a boat sinking, and it looked pretty good. It didn't look scene. shitty. I don't watch Agents of Shield, so I couldn't tell you, man. I don't know. I don't know either. But, all right. That's, Thanks for watching. Yeah.